We are back with a weather alert. It may feel like the perfect evening to drag out that grill or do a campfire. Oh yeah, but the drier and windier weather could cause those sparks to quickly ignite. Meteorologist Mackenzie Bart explains this red flag warning. Yeah, and you know, most of Ohio prompted under that red flag warning this afternoon, and that means conditions are favorable for rapid fire growth. So let's talk about what triggers this really the ingredients behind this red flag warning. So we're going to start off with winds, strong winds, and we are already seeing a few gusts really kind of reach up to that 40 to maybe even 50 miles per hour later on tonight into early tomorrow morning. That's what's going to help any of those fires that do spark really move fast, kind of keep them going. You also need lower humidity right now. Our humidity here in Columbus is right around 18%. You just need as low as 20%. So we're checking that off the list. Also that dry vegetation when we start to transition from winter back into spring and haven't really seen much of that green out there. That's when we also can see some of that uh, dead grass really kind of help fuel any of the fires that we are seeing. And then the heat, we've had this in play throughout the day today. Very warm temperatures, highs into the upper 70s. So that's why we are saying that you want to avoid any of that outdoor burning, especially on a night like this. The uh, Division of Forestry says that most calls that they receive is when people leave a fire unattended, and that's even for a brief amount of time. Fires don't really care if it's 6 o'clock in the morning or 6 o'clock at night, but that's the warmest, driest part of the day. Uh, six o'clock in the morning, if you leave a fire smolder throughout the day, it dries out, the winds blow, you know, leaves come across and, and it can happen pretty quick. Well, I spoke to Tom from the uh, Wildfire Prevention and Operations. He suggests if you are planning on having a family campfire this evening to clear at least 10 feet around, have water and tools just in case you would happen to see any right. of those flames kind of get out of control. But, you know, on a night like this, it is really difficult to have those type of things. I well, know. it may feel pretty nice. Yeah, I was going to say with the warmer temperatures, maybe not as much inclined to have like a bonfire outside, but definitely yeah. people grilling out yeah, there. Yeah, for and sure. So, yeah, you have to use extra caution.